But enough about me. What about you? Do you have family? What is your profession? My profession? I write music. Like a composer? Yes, I study composition. Any songs I would know? No, really, no. I have just started to make a name in Vienna. What are you doing in the mountains? Trying to find my muse. She's hiding from me. She's hiding in the mountains? She's hiding somewhere? Perhaps outside in the storm? Muses can be elusive. Finally, I can start writing. Mm. I think it's rude. Hello. Wilma. It's me, Laos. You remember me, yes? Yes, of course. Where are you calling? I, uh, well, to be honest. I wanted to hear your voice again. Last time we talked about me, my niece, and about my dumplings, I never asked about you. That was rude of me. You wanted to hear my voice, why? <clears throat> it feels good to hear your voice. It reminds me of, uh, of someone. Your niece. Nicole, yes. Some years ago, my sister and her husband asked me to look after her. They travel much of the year, but they do not believe she is strong enough to join them. Well, I try to look after her, but... Where is she now? What happened? I just couldn't manage. I mean, I love her. We are... We were very close. But running the inn and taking care of her? I couldn't do both at the same time. So she went to her parents in Vienna. I think... Things are better this way. Is it better for you? I'm not sure. I like to think so, yes. Do you miss Nicole? Yes. She's like a daughter to me. Who looks after Nicole while her parents travel? The governess, I think. Sit down, Frau Schmo. I don't know her. How old is Nicole? She must be um, nine years old by now. She was always very clever for her age. To be surprised, really. And she's not as frail as they think. Why don't you call Nicole? I want to. That's the very reason why I got this machine. And then, well, you picked up. But I'm not completely sure it's a good idea. You should do it. You think so? If you don't, you might regret it. I... Every hour, minute, second that passes. Keeping your feelings from someone you love is something you may regret later. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I can make it up to her somehow. But enough about me. What about you? Do you have family? What is your profession? My profession? I write music. Like a composer? Yes, I study composition. Any songs I would know? No, really, no. 
I have just started to make a name in Vienna. What are you doing in the mountains? Trying to find my muse. She's hiding from me. She's hiding in the mountains. She's hiding somewhere. Perhaps outside in the storm. Muses can be elusive. For a moment she hears a melody. Wait, what was that? What? I thought I had heard something. You heard something? Just now? I did! What did you hear? A melody? I don't understand. Can you do that again? Do what again? Start saying something and then pause. Yes, uh... No, that wasn't it. Keep talking. Fine, I'm talking to you, Wilma. I'll try to keep going, but I don't know what to talk about, so... Should I perhaps tell you about my dumplings again? I told you something about me. My profession? Yes. You are a musician. Yes, that's it! What? A melody! I can hear a melody! Oh, quick, write it down! Goodbye! Right. The notes disappear. Oh no, I nearly had it. You need to give the melody some time. It is quiet. And suddenly she hears the sound of his voice again. Thank you, Leos. It was a good, it was a good choice to be kind. I can barely keep my eyes open. Again. Sounds like your work is really, really tiring. It's cold. And what? Oh, where am I? Rain. A well. Why? Why can't I move? Oh, I can't move. I'm paralyzed. What are trips down the stones? The rain. The water is rising. My feet. The mood grips them like dead hands. I've got to get out of there. Hello? Is someone down there? Hello? Is anyone down there? Yes, down here. The rain is too loud. I can't hear you. Get me out of here. Can you climb up? No. My feet are stuck in the mud. So how did you get down in there? I must have fallen in. Don't panic. It's a difficult problem. The water is rising. Please do something. The stones are slippery. I don't want to fall in. Just grab a rope! Wait here, Wilma. I'll try and get help. Wait, how do you know my name? I can't hear you. I'll try to find help. Arthur? Hmm, interesting. 
The storm has gotten worse. Just a dream. This is all too much. If only I could leave. No. I must finish the piece. I owe it to everyone. The melody. It's around the tip of my brain. Wilma, concentrate. Ah. Huh. Another noise. What was that? Oh yeah, the clocks. I hate clocks. Oh no, not something else. Uh, where's that clock at? Hmm. Okay. I'm looking for a freaking... Yeah, it sounds like it must have put it away somewhere. This is lower than the noise. Okay. The noise is coming from in there. Okay. I'm just trying one oh, other noise. I'm just trying to find the key. Yeah, I know. I I'm looking for the key. This noise actually annoys me too. Here's a key. Marty! I love the art style in this game so much. It's so beautiful. Okay. I almost had it. Got it. Fragment dissolve and gradually fade. So now let's grab those letters. In this letter, someone describes my last performance. People will hold their breath, their eyes sparkling with excitement. They move away and then move closer. She hears their footsteps and the clinking gla glasses in their hands, senses their glances. Everything comes together. A harmony engulfing the melody and giving it strange. How can I? Yes, like this. The melodies are strange. My favorite poem is in here. The Panthers by Rainer Maria Rilke. He's gay against the sweeping of the bars. Has grown so weary it can hold no more. To him there seem to be a thousand bars. And back behind those thousand bars, no world. A dark strong beast trapped in a cage. The sound of a secluded piano. Behind it, silence. <laughs> Wow, we are writing. He's happy. Uh, Arthur writes here about a phenomenon he calls tonal diversity. By building certain relationships between the notes, the same note can suddenly sound quite different when heard again. It seems as if Arthur is talking to her directly. His writing is so clear, so similar to the way he speaks. She imagines him lecturing to his students. 
he pauses not once but many times. He turns to her and smiles. Wilma focuses on his lovely smile. She feels warm by his smile, as if only she could see it. A shimmering chord. And now, a part of a composition. I can barely keep my eyes open. Maybe I should sleep. But I don't have enough time. We did a lot of work. I will get up earlier tomorrow to make up the time.